Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to print variables inside of a string inside of, well, you know, the print method. So if I create a couple of variables, say var, you know, x equals 10, you know, the date type don't matter, so I'll mix and match, so I'll do var y equals, I don't know, hello world. And if I was to print them out, I could do something like this. The semicolon print y run it so we get 10 and hello world so but maybe we want to at least you know combine them so we may want to say you know 10 equals hello world or maybe for example i am a 10 and my favorite statement is hello world actually i'll change this to full so i'll put this to pizza so i will say oh so i essentially want to say I am 10 or you know whatever this is and I love wherever this food is so uh, again I'll change this to age and I'll change this to food so to do that if we do print if we get the overall format it would be I I am 10 and I love eating pizza if we were to run this it prints out fine that's all great but if i was to change this to you know 90 now as you can see this doesn't change because this is just a literal string so what we actually want to do is insert the variable inside of it to do that you just put the dollar sign now you put your variable name age if we do the same for pizza so dollar food and there we go if I was to change this, you know, let's say for change it back to Hello World, just to demonstrate what would happen. Yeah, Hello World. If we have a space here, you'll see you get an extra space. You've got two spaces, the one from this string and the one from that string. So any spaces do get registered as well. Spaces are, you know, just as important and considered just as, you know, viable a character as any other character. So just bear that in mind. And yeah, that's it. That's really all you need to know about combining variables into strings. You can do this, you know, beyond the print method. It can be, you know, into something else. So for example, maybe I want to concatenate this. So maybe I want to say, hello world, space 90, dollar, age. And if I was to just print out food now, or food as well, if I print out food, You'll see one, it says hello world 90, because this is printing it as well. And it says it right here. So this is how you combine variables into strings. It could be for printing, or it could be into literally just another string variable. Simple stuff, but if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.